This is the 2022 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at Red Rock Resort. We want to thank our sponsors, New World Graphics, Don't Let Your Friends Wear Blank T-Shirts, and Bonanos Pizza, New York Pizzeria in Las Vegas. The next team we have with us here are the Del Sol High Dragons. We've got Coach Clint Dubos alongside a pair of players, Keon Simpkins and Colin Morville. Uh, Coach, the starting basic, how's it looking out there this year? It's looking good. We had a good turnout uh, this summer. Uh, we've had, you know, fairly mild temperatures. Uh, we've tried to beat the heat by going a little later in the uh, in the in the afternoon, early evening. So, uh, kids are uh, seem to be uh, uh, there uh, a little bit more this year. Uh, from last year, of course, we're still we're recovering last year from that uh, non-football year uh, with the COVID. But this year seems to be a lot better. Um, both these guys next to you play linebacker. It's safe to say that unit will be uh, one of the strengths of your team this year. Yeah, I think defense will be one of our strengths. Uh, so we, uh, uh, you know, this year in regards to offense, uh, we're looking for more of a uh, more of a run identity. I think we're more uh, pass last year, so we need to establish a little more of a run identity. Uh, defensively this year, we do have more returners, so I think that we can hang our hat uh, a little bit more on defense. Um, Keon, how have you seen that experience uh, play into uh, making you guys in, in a better situation going into this season? Right, what's with me? Right. Um, having a lot of players come back, does that help you? Uh, you know, you guys click. It like builds the team. Like we could work harder and work better. You know, like more people could work together. For sure, um, Colin. What what goes into uh, like Coach said, you want to get a, run the ball a little bit more this year. What, what's gone into uh, making sure that happens? Um, just a lot of work, work towards it. Uh, be physical, aggressive. We want to run that ball through every defense we come across. So, yeah. Um, Coach, what are some other uh, philosophies or urban mentalities that, that, that you really try to instill to make sure uh, um, this team's in the right place? Well, just. Uh, and, you know, it's the same as last year. We had several kids last year that had never played football that were uh, forced to start and play varsity football last year. Uh, so continuing with the fundamentals, uh, just tackling and blocking, uh, those types of things uh, we're, we're constantly trying to work on, and then also special teams. So that's uh, something that uh, sometimes gets forgotten, but it's uh, we saw firsthand the good and the bad of special teams. So. Uh, that's something that we're going to make an emphasis of this year as well. Um, Keon, give us the uh, scouting report on Colin. What, what, what's he do well? What makes him a, a great football player? Colin? Yeah. He's a great linebacker to me. Um, he's a great middle. I play soon, so uh, he helps me a lot uh, with the receivers coming my way. You know, mm, He plays very great like in his zone. You know, uh, He's a great linebacker, great teammate. You know? I like him. Um, and then Colin, I gotta give you the same luxury. Give us the scouting report on Keon. Why is he a key guy to your team? He's probably one of our best running backs, linebacker. We do it all. Uh, love being vocal, very vocal dude. He helps us uh, with the offenses, defense, same thing, both sides. So, really good dude. Good teammate to have. All right, coach, we got the lowdown on these two guys. Who are some other guys out there that uh, we need to look out for this season? Well, again, this year we'll be, uh, we're be we going to have some young guys that will step up. Um, we've got uh, Colin's brother, Austin, Austin Morville, will be our uh, quarterback. He was our sophomore last year, uh, and he started last year as well. So he's got a year of RC under his belt, so we're expecting big things from him. Uh, we've got uh, Tim Randolph. He's going to be a, a wide receiver, be a sophomore. He's going to have to step up as well and, uh, and fill some big shoes. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of kids that uh, we have that, uh, you know, Travis McFarlane as a safety. Uh, we've got uh, Julian Sinkbell as a returner at linebacker as well. Uh, we're expecting him to, uh, to play well. He was a returning varsity linebacker from last year. Uh, so, you know, we've got several guys that we can kind of hang our hat on that we didn't last year necessarily or that was unproven. So, uh, you know, we, we have a little bit more of a foundation uh, going forward this year than we had last year. Um, Keon, what's it mean with, with such a young roster, like Coach said? Uh, are you taking it upon yourself to uh, show these guys the ropes, be a leader, show what's kind of expected out of them at Del Sol? Like, to, huh? like what do you mean? Uh, are you trying to be a leader of, of the, the younger well, roster? Am I trying to be a leader? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Like, I want to be, well, I want to be like, to me, I want to be the best on the team, but like, 
with being that, you gotta focus on yourself. Like, you can't be worried about them, but at the same time, you have to, because, like, they're your team, you know? So, yeah, at the same time, I do want to be a leader, but, yeah. yeah for sure, good. gotcha. And we'll go to Colin uh, for, for the last word. Uh, <laughs> seems like you guys have high expectations this year, looking to take a step forward. What are mm -hmm. the real keys that, to make sure you need to do to make sure you get there? Our major keys this year are probably just keep working at it, running, working every day in practice, show up every day, be on time. <clears throat> Just a lot of extra work goes into what goes on Friday night, so. All right, sounds good. Well, that's the Del Sol High Dragons here at the Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at Red Rock. Thanks for watching. Thank you.